everyone, Tina Service here with the Titan. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a cool tool that you can use that is free um, to use. And it's just another way to kind of make yourself a little bit different when it comes to your competitors. So um, the, the first thing I'm going to explain is that when we get a new client that signs up, we pull in their first cleaning date uh, for our house cleaning company called Made for Time. And we put that uh, first cleaning date into a custom field. And then we set up a campaign or an automation that is going to send them a text message a few days before their cleaning service. So the way we want to actually differentiate ourselves is just to do something a little bit different. We're going to send them this uh, introductory message and then, you know, we're going to continue with like how to prepare, prepare for your cleaning and things like that. But this video is going to focus primarily on um, just doing this image that we'd like to share with them. So before I jump over to that tool, there are lots of different ways that you can use your images and um, different types of images that you can use. This one, I'm actually going to use a cleaner instead of like a team photo or something like that. Um, so the first thing I do is I go over into Canva and I upload the image that I want to use. And the size of this file that I'm using is a 600 by 397. That seems to be a good size. You can make it smaller if you would like. Um, but I just did it on a white background. You can certainly make this any color you want. However, my disclaimer is the more colors that you add, the more challenging it is for that text message to go through. Okay, so with that being said, once we get this completed here, we go over here and we download it as a PNG. So we're just gonna download this. It's gonna go in as a PNG. I've already downloaded this for this um, video. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to this tool called Nifty Studio or Nifty Images. It is completely free. I just wanted you to know if I didn't say it, it's completely free. So now there are some things that you can um, end up paying for if you want to go with your advanced tools and stuff like that. But basically, I'm going to start this from the beginning just so you can get an idea of how I do this. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. You can see I've created some other ones here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create image and I'm going to use this personalized image. I'm going to upload the image that I just downloaded, which is this one here. We're going to let this get loaded in. And what I really like about this is that it pulls the colors from the photo. So like even before I start adding the text in or before I start typing, it's going to know that it wants to pull this particular color. So what we're going to do is we're going to personalize this. And then I'm going to show you how to personalize this on autom automated or automatically through um, the merge tags inside of Go High Level. All right, so here we go. We're gonna add this merge tag. We're gonna do the name one, and then the deep, do you see how it showed red? I can tell you every time I do a new one, it changes the color based on what color is pr um, prominent in the photo. So we're just gonna do a fallback name of, let's just do a different one. I keep doing Tina, so let me do like Jessica. All right. So here, we're gonna line this up over here to be a little bit more visually appealing. Now, of course, when my name comes across, it's just gonna come as Jessica. So I'll show you that here in a second. And then we wanna add some additional text. So the way that you're gonna edit this is just in this default text area here. And what I'm gonna put in here is, it's gonna say, Jessica, your house is about, to sparkle okay now depending on what industry you're in you change it to fit that I literally just go into chat GBT and say hey can you change this I don't want it to say your house is about to sparkle I want it to say something related to whoever my customer is if that makes sense now if you want to get fancy with your text you can change all of this stuff over, over here so you can change the font um, you can make it bold you can you know, whatever you want, change the size, the color, you can even put your own company colors in here if you want. 
Um, you can change the, the uh, alignment of the text. And then of course you can change and do all different types of like uppercase title casting and things like that. So I'm not gonna get super fancy about it because I don't think we need to spend that much time. But what I'm gonna do now is gonna do preview and you'll see this, the only reason my name shows up is because I use this tool quite a bit, but we're just gonna hit preview. And now you can see it says, Jessica, your house is about to sparkle. All right, so if you wanna change the name, you can test it out with Frank. So here it is with Frank. Let's just say, we say Lisa. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this name and we're gonna insert it into our um, high level automation with a merge tag. And I'm gonna show you that it's automatically gonna change this name every single time. All right, so we're gonna close the preview. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna title it as demo image. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up and give me this code here. Now, we don't need the entire code. We just need a certain section of the code. So we're gonna go from this Close quotation, we're going to go from the HTTPS all the way down to this equal sign after name. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to come over here to our um, lead titan, or that's my agency name, um, high level. And we're going to create an SMS message here and we can just say this is the uh, personal image. And then down here, I'm going to take this out so I, you can see it from the beginning. I'm going to add this code here just so you can see what it looks like um, from the, a, a larger view. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to end up adding the contact first name. And the way that this is going to look, so there's a couple things you can do. You can actually just copy the code and add it here. And then the little tag down here, you can say contact first name. Or if you don't want to work in that small of a space, you can just copy what you have here and copy paste it down here. Now, one of the things that I notice is sometimes, sorry, I'm going to hit add here. Sometimes if you don't have any text around this message, it um, the carriers don't necessarily send out just the image. And so what you have to do is put a little bit of words around it. So you could say, a note from your company name. So I'm going to say a note from Made for Time. Or you can just say, hey there. And what I also noticed on my carrier, and I have Spectrum, is that the text actually shows up below the photo, not before it. So it's a little bit weird. So you could say, thanks, Made for Time, or see you soon. And then that ends up looking better at the bottom than some weird language. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Don't forget to put your country code in here with the plus sign in front of it. So plus one, my cell phone number. And we're gonna send the test. Now, depending, this is gonna tell you if your text message went through or not. Depending on the size of the text is gonna be whether or not, um, how fast that text message actually comes through. And what I've done is I, oh, okay, it actually just came through. So let me jump over to the conversations here. Okay, so what I did is um, I took this screenshot from my phone and uploaded it into my Slack. So now you can see in here that the message came through. Jessica, your house is about to sparkle. See you soon. And the way it looks in conversations is like you have to download a file. But on my phone, it actually comes through as the image with that text. So it says, Jessica, your house is about to sparkle. So just a really cool way to differentiate yourself from your competition. Um, anyhow, if you like this video, please um, like it so other people can see it. And of course, we'd always love you to subscribe to our channel so more people can get these advanced tools that we are offering through the channel. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.